humans and animals. And I think that was answered a little bit as we went through this. Animals don't have a nephesh. Okay? Um, animals are behavioristic. I was watching National Geographic, and I think I told you this. I had a real sad moment. When the biologist on National Geographic said, uh, on the National Geographic station, your dog doesn't really love you. <laughs> and they showed animals like behaviors and patterns, right? So they said your animal doesn't actually love you. It's part of the behavioristic submission within packs. And you read it as love because you're human. Your animal doesn't read it as love. You, like people dress their animals and stuff here, God's already dressed them. You just want them to be human, right? You, just, you want them to be on the upper level, right? And um, let me break it down. Your animals don't have that sacrificial love. Now, they have a submissive commitment to preserve life, like your animal may protect you, your animal will guard you. But that's behavioristic. That's part of how God created animals' DNA. Isn't that instinctive? It's instinctive. Yeah. Okay? Um, we, as human beings, God has given us the ability to not just work by instinct. If we just work by instinct, we would be animals. We would act like animals, and some people do react by instinct, and it's really messy. It's in all our relationships. Then we gotta go see these counselors. <laughs>